Hello, you are watching the International Daily Roundup by People's Dispatch, where we bring you some of the major stories from around the world. Let's take a look at the headlines. Tonga volcano causes major oil spill in Peru. Tunisian man dies after violent crackdown on protests. Bahraini and Jordanian activists hacked with Pegasus. And US Senate Republicans block voting rights bill. In our first story, a major oil spill off the coast of Peru has caused extensive damage to protected zones near the capital, Lima. Authorities have described it as the worst ecological disaster to hit the country in recent times. 6,000 barrels of oil were spilled during the offloading of an Italian flag tanker on January 15th. The disaster took place at the La Pampilla refinery, which is owned by the Spanish energy corporation Repsol. Around 18,000 square kilometers of protected zones containing rare plant and animal life have been harmed. According to Oceana Peru, the oil was spreading across the Pacific coast, affecting marine life. The spill has also affected hundreds of fishermen families in the area. Repsol had initially stated that the spill was limited. Peruvian prosecutors have launched an investigation into the company for environmental contamination. Meanwhile, the government has also demanded immediate compensation for the damage. According to Oxfam Peru, oil extraction has caused over 100 spills in over 40 indigenous territories in Peru over five years. Saturday's spill was caused due to waves triggered by the volcanic eruption in Tonga. However, Peru's Prime Minister has stated that Repsol apparently did not have a contingency plan in place. Meanwhile, first emergency aid aircraft landed in Tonga on Thursday. The country has been blanketed by volcanic ash which has contaminated most of the drinking water. The UN has stated that around 84,000 people or over 80% of the population has been affected. Three deaths have been confirmed and the islands of Mango and Tongatapu have been severely hit. The Citizens Against the Coup campaign announced the death of Rida Buziane on January 19th. He was critically injured on January 14th and died due to the infliction of excessive violence. Thousands of people had taken to the streets last week to pro protest against President Kais Saeed. The day also marked the 11th anniversary of the Tunisian Revolution. The protest was the latest in a series of demonstrations demanding the restoration of democracy in the country. However, as protesters attempted to reach Avenue Habib Bourguiba, they were met with heavy police presence. Tear gas, water, sound bombs, water cannons and batons were deployed. As per reports, over 30 people were injured on charges of violating a COVID-related curfew. The violence was witnessed last Friday when it was condemned in a joint statement by 21 organizations on January 18th. The head of the Tunisian National Union of Journalists said that the country was being run by police and security mentality. The groups have accused authorities of trying to exert control over Tunisia by undemocratic and civil mechanisms. President Saeed has assumed executive authority and suspended the parliament and parts of the constitution. He has also extended a state of emergency by a month. A constitutional referendum and parliamentary elections have been announced for later this year. We now go to Bahrain and Jordan where several women activists and journalists have been targeted using the NSO group's Pegasus spyware. The findings are part of a new report by Frontline Defenders and Access Now. Among the people targeted is Bahraini human rights defender Eptisam al Sheikh. Her phone was hacked at least eight times between August and November 2019. She had previously been detained and interrogated by authorities in May and March 2017. She was verbally abused, beaten and sexually assaulted during this time. She works for the Salam for Democracy and Human Rights NGO. Another activist named in the report is Jordanian lawyer Hala Ahedib. She defends prisoners of conscience and is representing the outlawed Jordanian teacher syndicate. Her phone was hacked using Pegasus on March 16, 2021. The report also found that several other women in the Middle East and North Africa region had been targeted with the spyware. These include Emirati activist Ala Al Siddiq and Al Jazeera journalist Gada Ois. The report notes that the user surveillance tool works to deceive activists from doing their work. It also restricts freedom of movement and leads to social isolation out of fear of harm. The impact of such surveillance is disproportionate on women. Political and societal power asymmetries allow authorities to weaponize information they extract through blackmail and doxing. Women activists are also especially afraid of exposing other activists and victims they work with. And for our final story, we go to the US where two bills related to voting rights have been blocked in the Senate. The chamber was set to debate the Freedom to Vote Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act this week. The latter would restore major portions of the 1965 Voting Rights Act, which was struck down by the Supreme Court. States with a history of voter discrimination would also be required to get federal clearance before changing voting laws. The Freedom to Vote Act would impact expand voter access, including measures like declaring Election Day a national holiday. Both legislations have been blocked by Senate Republicans four times using the filibuster provision. Senate Democrats eventually combined the two bills and were able to table it for debate. However, according to the filibuster rule, 60 votes were needed to proceed to a vote. The Senate is currently divided 50-50 between the Democratic and Republican parties. The motion to hold a vote failed 49-51. to The Democrats then tried to introduce a change in the filibuster rule to lower the vote threshold from 60 to 50. However, Democratic Senators Kristen Sinema and Joe Manchin voted with the Republicans to defeat the measure by 52-48 to votes. The Combined Freedom to Vote, John R. Lewis Act, was introduced amid sustained Republican attacks on voter rights. 
19 states passed a total of 34 laws restricting such rights in 2021. These were widely condemned for their disproportionate impact on marginalized groups, including black and Latino voters. That's all for today's episode. For more such stories, visit our website, peoplesdispatch.org, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.